Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to build a full stack pagination using Angular 17 and as a backend, I will use the Spring Boot 3. So here, I will explain in detail that how we are going to integrate that backend API with the front end like Angular and we are going to achieve the same paginations from the front end. So in my one of my tutorial I have explained from the back end means from the Spring Boot applications how we are going to do the pagination. That's a very simple process. Like over here, this is the one application. I'm just giving the briefly introductions of it that how the paginations basically work. So for paginations we need to create one object of the page level. That we can create using the page request dot op. And here we need to pass the page size page like which number of page and the size. Let's say we are having hundred number of records in a database. Now we need the page of three page and the number of data will be ten. So means for each page we are expecting the ten rows will be written but from where it will pick it will page from the three number of page. So this is the way we are going to create one object, pageable object and this pageable object, paging object actually we need to pass where we need to execute the query. Like here if you see while we are fetching all the books so it will take the three parameters. We need the title, second one is the page and third one is the size. So title is, if the title is null then we are going just passing this paging. If it is containing the title then we are passing the title name based on the title we will search but with the pagination. So this is the thing and after getting the response it will return something like this page of books and then we can get the response like from here we can expect the means extract the response like in the books it will having the all the details then current page total items and the total number of page okay. So this is the thing that we can achieve over here. So from the back end if you see over here this is the table name books it's having the three fields four fields actually ID description the published and the title okay. So now like from here you can see just we are using some repositories over here and then accordingly we are read means we are going to integrate this particular API from the front end. So now if we talked about the front end basically so I have created one angular applications over here. So you are already aware of it like how we are going to create the angular application. If you are not aware of it I have already few applications from where I will explain from the scratch actually that how we are going to create a spring angular application. How we are going to create the component, how we are going to create the model, how we are going to create the services. So after creating the project actually in the HTML pages we need to defining this router outlet okay and here this is the default link that that will actually appear over here. Let us start this Spring Boot application okay so that we are going to integrate from over here. Now this is the home and in the router you can see that this is the empty it will redirect the books whenever it will be loaded it will load this book list component ok now in the service layer basically what we have done we need to basically get all the books like we need to call this particular API ok which will return us all the books so for that we need to pass this parameter I will show you from where we need to pass this parameter and this is the base URL ok so in this way basically or for calling the external API like Spring Boot API basically we have we need to use the HTTP client using the HTTP client we need to call the services ok so using the HTTP you can see HTTP then get then here we are passing the base URL and here we need to pass the parameters now from where we need to call this particular method actually from the TS file another one we have created the model under this model folder this folder actually mapping with this response whatever the response we are receiving from over here this is the equal to this one like id title description and the published these fields we are having in a response so this is the kind of thing that whenever you are getting the response so we need to map to it this the third one is the 
we are going to create the component so in the component list you can see so we, have, we need to define some fields over here where is the current index titles page and all the things page size okay so we have defining the page size over here like 5 10 and the 50 and under the constructor we need to use this book service so that's why we need to use this object inside of the constructor now for using this particular method ng on init this is needed so for that we need to use this implement on it init method so that's why after implementing this why we need to use this particular method it will loaded on the load time so whenever the particular page is load into the ui then we need to call it will call this retrieve method retrieve books actually and it will actually use this parameter title pages and the page size and then based on this param based on this param it will call this get all method we what this method actually we are defining over here now from over here after calling this one we need to use the subscribe and here we are receiving all the data like books and the total items if in case it's raising any issues then we are logging that particular error okay so here we need to use this forms module because we need to use some kind of forms related activities in the html file as well as nginx page ngx pagination module this module is needed to use the pagination now if we see over here html so here this portion basically creating the search section like search by the title okay so once we'll click this then the search title method getting executed now this particular method is having the it will internally calling this retrieves book and this method internally taking this parameter and then calling that particular method okay and then after that we are adding this pagination kind of thing like the movement of the previous page next page and what it will happen it will do the page change so based on the event actually we are handle the page change this method also it's defined over here you can see the page event like what is the page over here and based on this page it's updating this one and again it will call this same method okay so this is overall thing now if we start this application so how to start this one ng sub using the ng sub we can start this application and as a css we have used bootstrap css so bootstrap we can add into our application if you open the angular.json file over here if you see that bootstrap.min.cs we have used over here and these are the jQueries popper minjs bootstrap minjs these are js file we have used okay it's showing some error over here let us see need to restart this again it will take some time not much okay ng sub ng sub building started soon it will start this application again it's okay okay now you can see that in the local host for 2004 it got started let me open this in a browser any browser okay so i have opening this one in a browser so if you see that all the data are coming over here so default we have kept the pagination size will be 5 so that's why it's fetch the 5 records now if we the click on the second so it will fetch the second pagination record if we click the third then uh, in the third pagination field. okay so in a database if you see total we are having the 11 records so that's why it's having the three pages 5 5 and then 1 now instead of 5 if we keep 10 then it will keep the 10 records in a single page in the next page it will keep only one if we keep the 15 then it will return all the records in a single page okay so this is kind of very simple applications just to demonstrate that how we are going to use the pagination how we are going to moving the pages all the things so this is actually just kind of very simple application to demonstrate how we are going to integrate call the actually spring boot api how we are going to mapping those things 
so this is kind of very very simple if you see the from the ui perspective i have not done very much just to clear the concept that how this working we can do much better over here like in the ui section that maybe i will do in a later phase we will do some kind of table in a, like with header and all the things i will do some better in a place but just to clear the concept that how this pagination basically working so that's why it will i have just created this if, uh, tutorial this is all actually about this how we are going to use this uh, pagination from the full stack development perspective if you guys have any things please do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification see you in my next videos bye bye